Hey, what are you guys doing here? Well, we kind of heard you talking about this thing thing. Yeah, and I thought you wouldn't mind if we tagged along. Well, uh, to tell you the truth, guys, I'll tell you to pour down the parts of myself. Ah, I guess a couple more guys wouldn't hurt, huh? Yeah. It's okay, everybody. Jason's saying good goodbye. <laughs> Welcome to the King's Island 20th Anniversary Special with your host, Jason Priestley. Brought to you by Chevrolet, the heartbeat of America, the cars more people depend on. United Dairy Farmers, makers of homemade brand ice cream. And Panama Jack, the official sun care products of King's Island. The King's Island 20th Anniversary Special, starring Jason Priestley, will return after these messages. through the front gate at King's Island and right away you find yourself in another land. A European boulevard featuring all kinds of shops and restaurants and the Royal Fountain. But the most impressive thing of all is the Eiffel Tower. 330 feet high, it takes a full 30 seconds to get to the top. And up there, you can see just about forever. Hey, I've only been here five minutes and already I love the place. Let's see, I wonder how we get to the roller coaster. Excuse me, excuse me, sir. Sir, could you uh, point me towards the coasters? Coasters? <laughs> Get out of here. Everyone's a comedian. Excuse me, sir. Sir. Sir, could you, uh, could you tell me how to get to the roller coaster? Sir? Sorry. You don't mind me asking what this piece of machinery you got here? What? This? Oh, this little thing. Well, sir, this is a paranormal antimatter particle detector, an extremely sensitive piece of equipment. Now then, if any strange particle patterns are produced, this paranormal antimatter particle detector will positively pick them up. <clears throat> so if this thing picks up uh, particle patterns, what does this do? It's a hat. It keeps the sun off my head and holds certain aesthetic values on days that I don't wash my hair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've got activity here. Oh my God! Oh, look at this. It's gone now. They, what about the clown band? Clown band? Oh yeah, they, they, they were. No, 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 no. I mean, I mean, they just they, they glitter. But I'd love to stand around here yammering with you all day, but I've got important scientific research to conduct. I'm off. How's everybody doing, King's Island? Come on, I'd like to welcome you to the Saltwater French Show. My name is Jim, and I'm going to take you right in front of your two California sea lions. They go by the names of Evan Duke. And before they get this show started, they're going to show you just what it is. Sea lions love to see and hear all throughout their show. And what is that, guys? It's lots and lots of applause. Come on, give it up to them, everybody. 
Now, Duke has been working on his gymnastics routine. I think he's going to come on down here, and he's going to show us his floor routine. He's going to start off with a little bit of sea lion shuffle. He's going to go into a little bit of sea lion spinning. Good boy. Maybe a couple rolls. And one more roll over. Yeah, good boy. Let's go back onto your seat, buddy. Ed, did you think that was good? You didn't? Wait a second. Uh, can you do something better? Yeah. You can. What is it that you can do? Oh. Oh, you can do a backflip. I don't know. Folks, do you think he can really do a backflip? That's right in front of me. About five feet up in the air. Here he comes. Woo! Good boy. Very, very nice. Guys, why don't you go swim for just a little bit here? And we're going to talk to you folks a little bit more about sea lions. Now, who out there can tell me where a California sea lion might come from? Hawaii. That's a good answer. They do come from California. They live all along the California coast. Who can tell me what California sea lions eat? Fish. Yes, that's right. And these guys were eating 18 to 20 pounds of fish in the winter. And Duke is trying to upstage me just a little bit here. You see, folks? California sea lions like to work for fish, but they like kisses more than anything else in the whole world. Now, is there anybody out there that would actually be, uh, stupid, I mean, brave enough to come on down here and get a great big kiss from a slimy, fishy, very wet California sea lion? He won't feel a thing if she's sliding down the throat. Okay. Oh, there we go. Good job. Thank you, Ed. Okay, Jen, come on up here and get a great big kiss from... Oh, there we go. Good boy, Duke. Come on, Ed. And... Oh... Oh, let's have a great big hand for all our volunteers, everybody. Very nice, guys. Duke, why don't you catch that ring for me? Yeah, that's pretty good, buddy. And why don't you catch... No, you're supposed to catch it around your head. End over end. Hey, good catch there, Duke. Now, Ed has been working real hard. You see, his favorite sport is basketball. And he's going to show you that he's no slouch. He's got a few really good moves of his own. And here he comes. He's going to come all the way up on stage here. And what I think he's going to do is give us a great big sea lion rollover. Whoa. See, please. How about a great big California sea lion bow? Yay. And I ask these guys to give everybody a great big wave bye-bye. Bye-bye, everybody. Enjoy your day here, King Kong. This is a double coaster in the sense that two trains are going to race each other. I'm going to leave that incline and come down side by side through these two tracks to see which one can get home first. We have to get them wild. And this is a wild one. And personally, I can't wait to ride it because I like them wild and I build them wild. And I always like to see the people scream from the time they leave that top until they hit back on the brake. King's Island is just full of thrill. And there may be nothing more thrilling here than the roller coasters. Who are those guys? King's Island has four big ones, plus a few smaller ones for smaller people. This one is the Racer. Hey, big guy. Hey. The Racer is King's Island's very first coaster and a classic. It's actually two coasters that mirror each other, and if you're lucky, you can even ride the Racer backwards. You ready? Yeah. All right, buddy. Here we go. Here we go. All right, you guys, this is our first coaster ride of the day. No screaming, right?
There you go, big guy. Wow, that's what it's like to ride the racer, and I'm sure glad nobody screamed. <laughs> well, we still have King Cobra, Vortex, and the Beast. So you have teenagers, and you're wondering just what you can all do as a family. King's Island. The question is, what can't you do? Now save four dollars off general admission with a can from any Coca-Cola product. What do you say we take a trip over to the King's Island wild animal habitat? While we head that way, take a look at a popular King's Island ride that always makes a big splash. My friends at the Kings Island Wild Animal Habitat. You guys like animals, right? Yeah. yeah. You guys have any pets? I got a dog. His name's Bossy. Bossy? What's Bossy sound like? Yes, yes. I have a lizard. A lizard? That's pretty strange. What does what does the lizard look like? Make a lizard face. Pretty good. Pretty good. You know, I've always wanted to be a giraffe. A giraffe? Yeah, a giraffe. <gasps> This is really weird. Could that mean curtains on a big career? Here's going to be a movie. Quite a fit for any lady and lady. Well, he could always be a guest on Wild Kingdom. Mm. Wow, this is great. Somebody should tell his mom or something. I bet he's going to be grounded. Yeah, but she's going to catch him first. Hi, I'm Bill Kelly, and I'm here to tell you about another side of Kings Island. While you're already aware of Kings Island's entertainment value, you may not realize its value on a much larger scale. The involvement of Kings Island's wild animal habitat with the Species Survival Plan has provided some fantastic results. This plan for species propagation was initiated in 1980 by the American Association of Zoological Parks and Aquariums as an attempt to propagate captive species threatened with extinction in the wild. For instance, the Gower is the largest member of the cattle family, standing over seven foot tall. And with less than 1,200 in existence, this species is seriously threatened with extinction. However, Kings Island's historical birth of a Gower calf to a surrogate Holstein cow holds promise for the future of the Gower. Since that time, the use of similar breeds of surrogates has become common. Breeds of African antelopes, such as bongos and elands, from this process have replenished to the point of acting as surrogates for other breeds. That beautiful white animal is a scimitar horned oryx. This desert antelope has brown stripes through her eyes that act like natural sunglasses. Late last year, a female scimitar horned oryx was born as a result of an embryo transfer performed right here at Kings Island. She was the first of any endangered antelope species to be reproduced using this technology. Just over there is the red-crowned crane, 
or Manchurian crane. This rare large bird was recently included in a concerted effort to breed a number of crane species in captivity. The plan is to replenish dwindling wild populations simply by maintaining a healthy captive environment so that the birds are free to breed. Who are those guys? here was built by the Philadelphia Toboggan Company around 1925. It's called PTC number 79. Today, fewer than 3% of these elaborate works of art have survived. In fact, this carousel was completely submerged by the great flood of 1937 at Coney Island. Many of these horses came unglued underwater and floated downstream. The park offered a reward for their return and some were recovered as far away as Memphis. Well, I've been here at Kings Island 21 years, and uh, I've worked on the horses since 69, when they were down at Coney Island. It's a lot of fun working on the horses, and, uh, you know, uh, you have your own uh, ideas you can use on color and uh, all the painting of the, the body parts and that. I mean, you sort of have a free reign on that, and that makes it more interesting. In the spring, for about a month, I work out on the carousel. Uh, go over all of them, just sort of uh, any bad places, nicks and, and uh, any cracks in the tails or anything like that. We repair those and uh, there's less than a hundred in the country left. They're not, uh, you know, preserved in some way, well, in just a few years there won't be any left. Thanks to craftsmen like Kings Island's Bill Tull, you can still ride this piece of Americana. Old PTC number 79 looks better than ever. While some park attractions are perfectly preserved examples of traditional thrills and entertainment, Kings Island has constantly improved the park, making it better and better for 20 years.
Everyone needs to sit down and rest sometime during their King's Island adventure. We're talking 350 acres here. And at King's Island, you can rest and be entertained at the same time with shows like Escapade going on all day long throughout the park. Have you been wanting to be a pirate? A pirate, yeah, sure. A pirate, a cowboy, famous superhero. Yeah, and a giraffe. <laughs> well, you a wise guy? Shut up. wanted to see the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> Ooh, I like the sound of that. Huh? <laughs> what would you want to be? make it out alive, or will they be lost forever in the ancient ruins to fate unspeakable snake booby trap bubbling lava? <sighs> the King's Island 20th Anniversary Special will return in a moment. Stay tuned for Adventure! $4 off general admission with a can of any Coca-Cola bottle. As you can see, we found a way out of the ancient ruins. Is everybody okay? Yeah. yeah. I want to go again. You want to go again? Well, I'll tell you what. Why don't you guys go ahead without me, okay? I'm going to find out what's going on with these guys. Seems like every time I see them, I end up on a roller coaster. That's a roller coaster. This is Vortex. It features a corkscrew turn, a boomerang turn, and two vertical loops, which means Vortex takes you upside down. I was right. These guys do have something to do with the coasters. I'm not worried. You? <clears throat> Let's go.
to an end. After 85 years of successful operations, Coney Island will close with the night's operation September the 6th, 1971. Now in the foot of the future, a new part, a new home, King Island. I promise you, it will be more than you could ever dream an amusement park could offer. You got a minute? Sure, Hunter. What's the matter? Well, I've kind of got to talk to you. You know what I mean? This man. About clothes. Oh, that. <laughs> yeah. I'm at that age where I went to a press there. You know what I mean. Get them flattening. So do you got any advice? Sure, I guess so. Oh, great. Hey, boy. He's going to teach us about girls. <laughs> Okay, guys. So y'all learn how to impress women, huh? Yeah. I have no idea. <laughs> uh, you know, I guess, I guess the best advice I can give you is just, uh, just for yourself. Yeah, but what if you're a geek? <laughs> well, I guess you just have to be the best geek you can be. <laughs> no, really, guys. Yeah. The only thing is, don't do anything you wouldn't normally do to impress someone. I mean, uh, if your friends don't like you the way you are, get some new friends. Tell them to hit the road. Get them out of there. Broom them. Ramp them. I don't know. I don't know. Something else girls like. I like it when you win them a prize. They like that. At least the ones I know. So what do you guys think? You want to go give it a shot? Yeah. Okay. Hasta la vista, baby. No, I, I can't take your animal. I, I want so many, I can't possibly carry them all. Here's something I'm good at. Would you look at this kid handle the ball? All eyes are on him as he dribbles back and forth between his legs. I gotta tell you, this Greasy really knows how to fire up a crowd. He goes up with the jumper. Good! Greasy eyes the basket, takes right, turns left. There's that jumper. Yes! Greasy straight ahead, 15 footer. Nothing but that. Look at this kid blow it up out here this afternoon. He is unstoppable. Oh my goodness, now the back crowds will dazzle. It's showtime now, folks. He takes it way out beyond the three point line. Unbelievable! Yeah, I gotta tell you, that was absolutely incredible. You put on a clinic out here today. Well, thank you. It's a good day for basketball. It's a good day for sports. Uh, after a performance like that, I'm sure everybody wants to know what's next for Jason Priestley. Well, you know, I was thinking college, but I think I'm just gonna go straight to the NBA. Miss my. Uh... Well, I guess that's all from here. Let's turn it back to the studio. Bye. I'm going to the beach. <laughs> I guess it's time to ride the fourth of Kings Island's big roller coasters, the Beast. Who are you guys? We're members of A or A C E, American coaster enthusiasts. We feel there's nothing better than a ride on a roller coaster, and Kings Island has some of the best in the world, especially the Beast. And today, we are going to make you an honorary member of A. Special occasion, we would like to honor you, Jason Priestley, the front seat for your first ride on one of the world's truly great coasters, the Beast. Ah, uh, I'm really not worthy, guys. I uh... okay. Let's do it. Thank you. 
not a problem. Let's go. Oh, check this. It's so good. That looked exciting. It's exciting person. And if you think the beast looked a little too exciting, King Valen does have something for everyone in the family. The marvelous thing about King's Island. It's simply that here, you and your kids exist in exactly the same world at exactly the same time. It's a big, friendly place full of fantastic sights and sounds. It's everything your kids expect from the world and everything you've forgotten about it. So let yourself go. Now save $4 off general admission with a can for any Coca-Cola product. King's Island, let yourself go large scenic areas. It's designed around what life was like in the old Ohio riverboat days. You know, the modern version of King's Island actually evolved from another amusement park right on the banks of the Ohio. In 1971, that park, Coney Island, closed its gates for the final time. The following spring, a new era began when the turnstile started spinning in Kings Mills, Ohio, at the Kings Island Family Entertainment Center. There are quite a few people who came to work here from Coney Island. We're going to meet a couple of those engineers of Kings Island Miami Valley Railroad now. There were four railroads in the lesson. Two, two electric and two steam. And if you wanted to go any distance those days, why, well, you had to go by rail. Before they had automobiles, the horse could only go about 20 or 25 miles a day as far as you could get away. So if you want to go farther than that, you'll fit on the railroad. When I was a boy, I grew up near a Pennsylvania depot. And you watch the trains come in and go out and go over and stand by the track. And the ground would shake when a locomotive came through. And it would, you'd be scared to death and in awe all at the same time. Uh, the conductors uh, getting the people on board and uh, it was very fascinating. Always loved the, loved the steam trains. The engineer was the pilot. He was like a, a jet pilot today. Kids want to be a jet pilot because he's in charge. He, he's the adventurer. He 
Yeah, I don't know. They, they try trying to make you young men. <laughs> Work on on the railroad. Yeah, keeps you young anyway. I retired years ago, but I just never quit. As you can see, I'm a little early for the opening of Waterworks, but Panama Jack and Q102 Radio brought 400 kids and their parents here for a special day at the park. Most of them made it because they improved their grade point average. We call it the Good Grade Splashdown. Check out these curves. The 15 acre water park offers something for everyone. And at no extra cost, Waterworks features 15 water slides of every size and configuration, including Rushing River, a giant inner tube ride that carries five passengers riding in eight foot inner tubes down a 700 foot long channel of water. There's also the Plunge, a slide which stands 70 feet tall, and there's plenty for the children, too. Forget your suit, you can pick one up here. And like everywhere else in the park, you can definitely find something good to eat. Grandma always goes to the Chiefs. What do you guys think? You want to go give it a shot? Whoa! Hey, hey, out of my way. I'm on a roll. What about the lady over here? Hey, just listen, all Me and you, I tell you what. Huh? You and me together? <laughs> Whoa! Totally hidden treasure. Hey, give me that candy. It's bad for your teeth. Can I help you? I want a cherry fuzzy and a brownie on a whole wheat. Hold the mustard. Oh, he stole my lunch. Hey, is anybody out there? You talking to me? Me? I thought I'd go curl up with Scooby-Doo in a nice soft blanket. We're having a great time today, King Allen. Don't go away! We'll be right back! 
Take you on a backstage tour of the Phantom Theater here at King's Island. It's around 1910 to 1915 is when we created this theater to actually exist. Now, these guys here have been running around since that time, kind of turned into phantoms. They refuse to leave or refuse to believe that the vaudevillian era is over. And so that's the feel of the whole thing. These are fully custom characters. There's no characters like this anywhere else in the world. Um, these characters are created specifically before the Phantom Theater. Coming! Jason, this is your blind date for next Friday night. Tell the bovine, one of the stars of the Phantom Theater. Throughout the entire show, what we've tried to do is make a real fun type of show. There's a lot of little twinges of horror and little scary type of things, but all the way through, we wanted to have a lot of fun so the whole family can have fun on this. It's for little kids and grown-ups and teenagers and everything else. There's something for everybody, hopefully, all the way through the show. From the floor, Fat Gargoyle. hard to get involved with children's charities in your community. There's a charity out there right now that needs your help. Do it for you. I know these guys have made me feel real good today. Well, thank you everyone for helping me kick off Kings Island's 20th anniversary special and uh, hope each and every one of you will visit the park soon. And remember to bring a friend. Well, I guess that's about it. All right, got one more little surprise for you. I think you hear it right now. The King's Island 20th Anniversary Special has been brought to you by Chevrolet, the heartbeat of America, who invites you to see why more people depend on Chevrolet than any other car. United Dairy Farmers, makers of homemade brand ice cream. And Panama Jack, the official sun care product of King's Island.